Welcome to another episode of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, and I'm here to bring you all the latest news in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. It's Wednesday, August 19th, 2015, and let's get to it. Any skinny guy with an appetite of a nine-year-old girl can walk around sporting a decent set of abs, but you don't earn a shirt-stretching set of traps without slinging some serious weight. Last week, our friend Roman Fritz released some new training footage from a recent shoulder training session, where we see the German freakazoid getting down and dirty with shrugs as he adds more pro-quality mass to his upper body. Fritz has the work ethic and discipline to turn into a top-level pro, and if he keeps training with this insane level of intensity, his time at the top is going to come much sooner than later. It looks like Nick Tregilli is ready to make a major splash in his upcoming pro debut. New photos have surfaced of Tregilli looking immensely impressive, only a few weeks out from stepping onto an IFBB stage for the first time at the Europa Atlantic City Pro. From what we can see, Tregilli looks to have already surpassed the level of conditioning we saw from him at this MPC USA victory, and he's without a doubt added enough size to be a real factor in any lineup. As we've seen from a strong rookie class already this year, the right athlete in the right lineup can step right in and make an immediate impact. It looks like Zoa Lindsay will be bringing her talents to the great state of Texas for the upcoming San Antonio Wings of Strength. Lindsay released some progress photos recently showing off a very tight yet slightly downsized look compared to what we've seen from her in the past. When it comes to shape and structure, Lindsay's genetic gifts rank right up there with anyone. But it'll be interesting to see how her body transforms as she makes the transition from bodybuilding to physique, which might prove to be a very shrewd move in the long run. What do you do if you've just won your first pro contest and qualified for your first Olympia all in the same weekend? If your name is Max Charles, you come right back home to the East Coast Mecca and get back to work. Just days after knocking off the competition at the Tampa Pro, Charles was spotted back in the gym hammering away on his much improved legs, trying to add a few last ounces of beef to his wheels before rolling them out in front of the crowd at the Orleans Arena for the very first time. Charles is without a question one of the freakiest athletes in the entire sport, but how he's going to stack up against this incredibly deep Olympia lineup is anyone's guess. But if he can show up at his best, don't be surprised to see him duking it out for a spot in the top 10. Being the men's physique Olympia champ ain't easy, but you wouldn't know it by looking at Jeremy Buendia. After winning his first title amid a swirl of controversy last year, this time around, the champ is doing everything in his power to leave no doubt about who the top dog in the game really is. Buendia appears to have spent his entire offseason packing on loads of new size, and looks to be right on track to hit the stage bigger than we've ever seen him before. And while his new size might look great standing alone in pictures, we haven't seen him step onto a contest stage at all this season. So come Olympia time, when Buendia rolls out the new artillery, it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the pack matches up. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning, brought to you by Iron Mag Labs. Make your mark. Check out ironmaglabs.com today. I'm your host, Dave Palumbo, reminding you to always be true to your passions. And make sure to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.